Hello my friend in internet land, how are you? I hope you are doing great. This is Dr. Said Said, the CEO and founder of Online Profits, a company which helps African entrepreneurs be able to generate more sales and profits for their businesses online. Now, welcome to today's video. This is probably one of the most important videos that you're going to see when it comes to being able to uh, generate sales and profits online using a method that only very few people understand. And when you understand this method, um, the process of um, attracting paying customers to your business will become so easy that it will shock you. And as you can see, the title of today's video is how to turn your website into an ATM machine. So <laughs> this is how you're going to make money when you sleep. So this is one of the questions I get is, Dr. Saeed, how do I make money online? Which is the best method? Today I'm going to show you um, how you're going to be able to attract customers um, in a very powerful and efficient way. Um, you don't have to chase anybody. You don't have to nag people to buy your products and services. And you don't have to shout a lot like what many people are doing in social media and everywhere else. Okay, so uh, before I get into the nitty gritty of today's video, um, first it's very important you understand one thing and this is the customer journey. Like how does a customer who does not know you, who does not trust you, end up knowing you, trusting you, paying you and even sharing to other people about your company, your brand, your products and services. So customers usually go through this journey and if you do not understand the journey, it becomes very difficult to sell. Now I want you to think of, um, if you're married, um, I want you to remember a time where you got to know your spouse there was a process which happened. So there was the first stage where you became aware of the person, you knew that person exists. Then there was the introduction, then there was the communicating, making jokes, then there was the flirting, and then, then the stages progressed from there. So until uh, the time came when um, he or she became comfortable like to propose. Okay, so imagine if you met the person the first day and then you proposed on the first day. You'd get a slap on your face. That's what's going to happen. Okay, because you did not take her or him to that journey. So this is very, very critical and this is one of the most biggest mistakes many business owners do is they do not know the customer. Uh, the customer does not know them, they, they don't know, trust them, and then you're telling them, I have this product, come buy my product. Very big mistake, and that is killing your business, and that's why it's very di difficult to acquire new customers. So let me take you through this customer journey, and um, at least you get to understand what is supposed to happen before they... Uh, become your best prospect and before they start sharing your message to the world. Okay, so the first stage uh, through this journey is awareness. Now, you want them to be aware of you, your brand, your products and services, but this is critical. You are not supposed to talk about you, your product or services in this stage. Because, to be honest, they don't care. They don't care who you are, what you do, what you sell, what products you have. They don't care. Everybody's living on his or her own world. They have their own problems and they are looking for solutions to solve their problems. So if you position yourself in front of your target market and show them the solution to their problems, so you talk about them, their problems and their solutions, 
then that is the best way to become aware. So here you will need a blog to do that. Okay? So you use a blog to, to get yourself aware and this is what I, I advise you do, spend money on traffic so that, for example, um, you're an accountant and you're looking for businesses, you want to help businesses um, do accounting for them. Um, so first you need to address the problem. So what will your service, uh, what problem can your service solve? So um, if one of the problems is that companies, they lose a lot of money because of poor management of finances and your services can help them save 20 to 30 percent of monthly expenses then you can write a blog post where um, with a title of maybe how to save 20 to 30 percent of your monthly expenses in your business and then you promote that blog content so that will create awareness like wow i want to save 20 and 30 percent i spend a lot of money i'm disorganized and stuff and somebody sees your blog they read it and wow this is an amazing stuff who wrote this so people get to know who you are and they get to understand who you are um so the second step is uh, engage engagement this also happens in a blog now <laughs> this is another problem which I see with most people is some of them they try to blog but their blog is so bad that they do not get any engagement. So if you write a boring post like why you should buy a product from us or write something nice. Imagine uh, you are your own prospect. Would you like to get the message that you are giving out to people? So it's very important. Um, try give out the best content to them so that you get that engagement. Otherwise, when people see your headline, ah, they do not even read, so people don't engage in your content. So make sure you have good content. It can be in the form of video, audio, blog posts, okay? And share it on your blog. So that, that's why a blog is very, very important. If you have a website, you do not have a blog, you ultimately have lost <laughs> okay so if you don't have a blog then you need to do something about it you need to have a blog on your website okay so the following stage is subscribe um now now here i have to talk about something called the funnel okay so if somebody has read this blog, for example, how to save 20 to 30 percent of your monthly expenses, uh, your monthly business expenses, at the end of your article you could write something like, um, if you would like to learn more about this, I've written a, an, a book on how to da 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 da. So something which is related to that blog, but for them to get this content, they need to subscribe they need to give you the contact information and then you send them the ebook. E now why do you want to do that? You want to do that because you want to know who's interested in your content. It's like telling people, you want people to raise their hands, I want what you are offering. So people are going to show interest. Okay. Now to do that you will need to um, have what I call the sales funnel and this is what I call the machine. This is where um, the machine starts and uh, I'm going to show you. So it's something like this. Let me use another pen. Um, so I don't know if you can see that. So it starts with a landing page. So this is a one page with, which offers something. Okay. So for example, um, I have I have a landing page which promotes a book called how the, the seven mistakes most business owners seven online mistakes that most uh, African business owners make 
Um, and so they see the, type, the book there and then I tell them to get your book, write your name and your email. Okay? So it, from the blog you send them to what you call the landing page. Okay? So when they subscribe, they get an automated email uh, with a copy of the book. Okay? But before they go to the email, so this is this is what happens. So this is happens on a landing page, as you can see. So they subscribe on your landing page. But after subscribing, they land to another page. Okay? Um, where I give them, I offer them something. So you offer them something high value, but very low cost. Something that would cost maybe $5, $3, $10, $7, okay, um, not more than $20. Something very cheap, um, but it's of high value, okay. Something very valuable, but you're charging them very low. Uh, we also like to call this a one-time offer, okay, so you want people to convert. Now you want, now many people will subscribe here, but there are some people who just want free stuff and there are some people who genuinely want to invest uh, in learning something or in acquiring a solution to their problem and they are going to spend money with you. So you want to give, the question that you need to ask is how low can I charge so that I know who are, so that I could separate the buyers from the non-buyers. And that's what you do. So you give them a one-time offer of a high value product, um, something that you charge for $50 and tell them I'm going to give it to you for only $5 if you take action today. Okay. So anybody with the right mindset, this is... Um, um, a very good offer. Five dollars is nothing. They can spend uh, five dollars or five thousand shillings, depending if you're in Tanzania. Um, so something like that. So it's a one-time offer. Um, we also call this a lead magnet. Sorry, sorry. We call this. Um, just give me a moment. We call this a trip wire. Trip wire. So you charge something like five dollars. Okay. So so you offer a trip wire. You offer something low, which is a, and you offer it for a one-time offer. You don't get it now. You don't get it again. So this is your last chance to get this product at this price. Okay. Um, so you create a situation where that if it's a if it's a good product they they buy immediately. If they don't buy it right away, then they have lost. Okay. Um, then the next stage is excitement. Now at this stage they go they can go through this product and wow this product is amazing. We really love this product. They become excited. Now here is where you give away the goods. Okay, so this is how they get to know now how good you are. Okay, so if you are in the service business like accounting or in the law, uh, you're a lawyer. Okay, so you can offer a tripwire plus, okay, a free consultation. You can tell them if you get this trip wire for five dollars, not only will I give you this product, but I'm also going to give you a free consultation, which I usually charge uh, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars per consultation. But you're going to get it for free just as a thank you for you to get to to become part of our community and get this product. I don't make any profit, I'm just doing this because I want to establish um, a connection with you, I want to build a relationship with you, and I want to show you that I genuinely care about solving your problem. So 
that's what they do they become wow they become so excited that guy was amazing with just five dollars i got a product and he did a free consultation wow they become crazy okay so after that what follows um is now your main product offer okay so your main product now your services so you did a consultation you gave them a tripwire the best best logical step is so you when you do your consultation if it's a service business that is you've added, identified their problem and you have framed out a solution to them and you're giving them a solution and you told them listen um we do this we are very good at this we can help you solve this problem uh, so this is an offer that we're going to give you if you take action today uh, we're going to offer you maybe 30 percent discount um now one thing that i i suggest okay get make sure your price is higher than your competition and why am i saying this because you'll have room to give discount number one number two you will have um surplus money for you to um invest in driving traffic to your blog and driving traffic to your landing page so you will get a lot of customers okay customers don't really care about prices if you take them through this journey so let's say if people are charging um a five hundred dollars for 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 the main services that you do for maybe accounting you you charge eight hundred dollars if they're charging eight hundred dollars charge a thousand dollars or even more okay because that positions you better and you tell them we charge this because we're very good at it of course don't lie if you're not good at at what you're doing then this will backfire it won't work but if you are very good at what you are doing charge more than your competition okay this is very critical then you can you have a chance of offering the discount so even when you offer your discount it doesn't hurt you you still on on the train and you offer the discount to the first purchase um so this is your main offer so now they know you they trust you they've seen you uh, they've become excited and if you do well here and if you um give them an outstanding service um you've done it so good you've delivered your work on time and, and you've constantly been trying to do your best to offer the best service that actually solved their problem uh they will love you and they will be crazy about you so ascending first is your main offer um now what happens next so if you have delivered well here so here this could be something now i don't know which products that you're selling so it depends on what what you're doing so if it's um could be a hundred dollar product it could be a five hundred dollar product it could be a thousand dollar product now it depends on your product and services that you're promoting now when they like this when they've seen they have um you have proved to them like you are good at what you do and you have delivered the service now they become your advocate they start advocating so if somebody asks um i'm looking for um a good um lawyer who could help me solve this problem do you know anyone they start uh, they advocate okay they start I'm sharing. Wow, I know this guy. Uh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Okay. But then, if they even get better products and services from you, now they start to promote like crazy for you. They go to online. Wow, I've made, I've gotten this amazing experience from this guy who's uh, done A, B, C, D, E, and they will share your. Um, share to their friends um about you and it will it, you start attracting um word of mouth referrals and that will even grow your business very big okay so this is um 
the customer journey and this is the machine that you need to have okay so in the machine you have your landing page you, uh, then you offer your tripwire and then you have your main offer but of course this landing page is linked to what we call an email autoresponder because not everybody is going to buy this product not everybody is going to get your main offer so you'll have an email autoresponder now you get to communicate with those who did not buy you give them free value okay and then you promote your tripwire now to the non buyers okay you promote your tripwire so you promote your tripwire now to the buyers those who buy the tripwire you promote your main offer but you keep on giving value this is the key you just don't promote and promote and promote you keep on writing blog posts you write blog posts um almost every day or every two or the, every maybe three times a week or once a week um, the more you write the better okay if you are not used to writing blogs get started at least once a week write a nice blog okay let people read and let them give you their feedback until you become good at writing blog posts or if you are very busy hire someone to do that this is a very we are in the 21st century we are there in the internet age if you are in in this internet age and you don't do these things your business is going to die so you need to have somebody in your company right making a writing blog post giving value to your community stop selling your products and services to people who do not know you stop promoting your products and services write meaningful content that people um will benefit from okay um i hope uh, this video was of value um but the question can come you might have this question how do you create this okay most unfortunately most business most web designers have no clue uh, of what how to build this this is what we call um, as a sales funnel sales funnel and you earn this money on automation by the way this happens automatically okay so you need to have a tool um that um you can use to to create this funnel there's a tool uh which i use is called click funnels i'm gonna put a link below um and also you need this tool for the email autoresponder i'm also going to give you a link uh, on how to get this tool as well um if you have any questions just let me know ask your question below and talk to you soon